Oh, whoa. <laughs> I'm really proud of this sweat right here, you guys. This titty sweat, I worked hard for this. I don't sweat much. Um, actually, when I'm pregnant, I do. But usually, like, I have to f***ing be running a mother effing marathon to, like, break a sweat. I just walked out of the gym. I did leg day. It was a fairly simple one. Usually, I push myself to do, like, like four to six different exercises. I did a leg day today. My knee was kind of f***ed up. Like, I was trying to do the Stairmaster, which really gets me pretty sweaty. But um, actually, it's usually just on my hands I get sweaty. And then I sweat a little bit while I'm pregnant. But it takes a lot for me to sweat. Um, but I get beet red. <laughs> uh, so I tried to do the Stairmaster. My um, my uh, knee, my right knee started to kind of bug me. And I'm not really sure why. It's the first time I felt that. But anyways, I did some uh, slow walking on the treadmill for about 35 minutes. I watched some 90 day fiance. There's so many new ones coming out right now. There's, um, the other way there's, oh my gosh, I'm going to sit here and try to remember all these right now. Uh, they're all on discovery plus. Um, so I know you guys have been wanting me to do like a guide to 90 day fiance, but like, oh man, we'll have to do that sometime does get a little confusing. But um, anyways, uh, watch a little Bachelorette since I haven't been watching it on Monday nights anymore. It's just on way too late for my ass. So anyways, I thought I would hop on here. I am right near a Ross. This is historically a Ross that like absolutely sucks and there's like pretty much never anything good at. But I wanna take a look. There's a few things. This is mostly hospital and postpartum and new baby shopping. There are a couple things that I want to look for. I need some like newborn onesies that are just like basic that I can bleach or that are dark. Um, possible socks and like mittens for the baby. Um, maybe some pacifiers. I don't really know, just a couple things. And then if I can find anything for me postpartum, like if I can find a really long like phone cord, I'll probably get that. So I'm just gonna kind of go in there with that mindset and see what I can find. We also just finished um, remodeling our bedroom and it is like, it's frustrating because everything's like done in the bedroom. However, the bedroom still looks like uncomfortable and unfinished because nothing matches and nothing really goes and like there's nothing on the walls. Do you know what I mean? It's like kind of when you move into a place and like nothing matches, you got to get rid of some stuff. You got to buy something new. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. And you know what I am going to get also if they have it here? I bought this for myself for the hospital. And I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. And I've never seen it in a hospital, like a My Hospital Bag video. But it is one of those like roll out, like hook onto like in the bathroom where it has all these like different compartments. That is like the best thing for giving birth anywhere, whether you're at a hospital or birth center. Um, because there are, there's like, virtually no counter space in the hospital there's only those like sink podiums for the most part that's it so you can hook this onto something in the bathroom and have all your stuff there like your your shampoo your you know toothpaste all your hair stuff and kind of just grab it as you need it another great thing that i just saw on an instagram reel is you fill that up with goodies for your child whether you have a toddler or a baby or whatever and you fill that up with all of the stuff that they can play with at the table or wherever you're at and you just like roll that sucker out and it's full of like crayons or whatever and you can kind of like replace it with some new stuff here and there oh, i'm losing my breath this uh 30 i'm 36 weeks um so anyways i'm gonna pop into ross right now and see if there's anything like i'm gonna look in the home section just to see if there's anything but i have put myself on a budget I have just been bleeding money with this remodel. I feel like I have been spending way too much money every month on, I mean, all of this stuff is like, obviously not pictures that I'm hanging on the wall, but all this stuff is going to like be put back in our pockets one day when we sell the house because we're adding so much value to it doing the remodeling. But in the moment, it's like, holy hell, like I still have so much to pay for. So um, I've definitely put myself on a, a budget. So let's drive over there and see if we can't find anything for baby. And for those of you asking, oh geez, my purse is down by my gas pedal. I hide it down there while I'm in the gym. It's not the safest spot. Um, I have not announced the gender of our baby, we know. I have 
let it slip up in a couple vlogs. So if you watch my vlogs religiously, you know, but don't put it down below because that's only for people who religiously watch the vlogs. They get to know and we're in a special club. That's it. So don't say it down below if you know, <laughs> or in my Instagram comments, I will fucking delete it. But um, anyways, yeah, so they could come any day now. It's so crazy. Oh yeah, I was gonna tell you my workout today and I totally got sidetracked. Let's go over my workout. So I did leg day today and so I tried to do Stairmaster but then I ended up just doing, um, I ended up just doing like, uh, oh, Ross is way over there, I'm not gonna. You know when you're in a parking lot and if you go in front of all the stores, you have to pretty much stop for people along the way like over and over and over again, I'm gonna go this way instead. Um, so I did the 35 minutes light cardio walking on a treadmill because my knee was kind of like bugging me. And then I did um, four sets of 12 reclined leg presses. Um, and then I did four um, cable kickbacks. And four sets of 12 cable kickbacks and then I did four sets of kettlebell sumo squats and I had to do sumo squats because my belly's too big like my feet just cannot be like shoulder width apart that just does not work um and what else I did oh and I did um leg lift or leg lifts I can't do leg lifts right now you're not supposed to do I haven't done any abs this whole pregnancy um, and I also did um, four sets of 12 barbell deadlifts with a 60 pound barbell. Um, my friend Anthony saw it on my story and he's like, you're literally gonna push that baby out of the gym. And I was like, good, this baby needs to come out. This baby is, I feel like is freaking giant. So, <laughs> um, it's funny, I'm like looking at this location on the corner here and now there's a subway there and the CEO of Submarina, when I was talking about opening a Submarina, I may still revisit that in the future, but um, they were telling me to look at that location and I didn't think it was a very good location um, personally. And now there is a, sub, a Subway in there. <laughs> subway is like so disgusting, dude. There, did you see Subways now trying to like cut their own meat like at the store? I'm like, uh, yeah, you should have been doing that the whole freaking time, guys. Like what is wrong with you? Okay. After this, I also have to go to the grocery store. Um, I have such a giant truck. It's so hard to find parking in here. I might just, oh, is that a fucking spot over there? Hell yeah, brother. It's right in the front. And it's big, because it's next to a handicap spot. Perfect. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go in Ross. Let's see what we find. <clears throat> Let's do it, y'all. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. If it wasn't for the Barbie movie, like I might actually buy these yeah, movies, but I feel like I don't want anything freaking food right now. Do you feel me? Oh, those look so comfy. No, why am I in the shoe section? I know that my fat ass fucking feet don't fit anything right now, but can we talk about how freaking cute these are? Oh my gosh. These are so cute. Fucking $30? I have to see if these are my size. Oh my gosh, you guys. They're like, hello, ma'am. This is the only thing in your size. They didn't have the boots, but these look pretty nice. How much are these? Oh, they're free. Oh. Mm -hmm. good. This is like kind of what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the kind of like folds way out, you know? Like this is like, this isn't it. But I don't think they have any. That's, they're pretty slim pickings on these. If I didn't have an eye, an eye mask cover, that would be definitely one for hospital. I need these, these are really cute. Freaking slim pickings on like baby clothes, newborns. But I wanna show you guys this. So I just posted these on Instagram this morning. They're actually on Amazon for $7.99 for three of them. And these are bite proof, which is why I bought some and Harlow loves these. So I'll link for you guys below, but these have been a hit. The baby section sucks, but look at these. So mad and then, these are kind of cute. And then these ones, $12.99. They have this whole maternity section. So I'm gonna check this out. So far, this is all we got in here. I'm gonna get this for Harlow. And then that's for me. <laughs> So of course I forgot to show you guys what I bought at the grocery store. Um, 
because my brain. So I'll show you the clothes I got at Ross. So these are the maternity shorts. Actually pretty cute. I like, they're a little tight on my legs, but they fit really well. Um, let's see if I can show you the back. I don't even know if I'm aiming in the right spot, but yeah, these are cute. Here's what they look like down with a normal shirt. Yeah, pretty cute. I think I'll keep them. Here are the pants. Sorry, this mirror is so dirty. I would say that the butt is not the most flattering on these, but I think I would keep it just because I don't really have any other pants that are comfortable to put on like a hat like this is really really loose which is nice a lot of these like leave a mark when I take them off these wouldn't it's really really soft um but it's just nice to have something that works I was given some maternity pants from a company I can't remember which it was but this part wasn't like isn't like stretchy enough so it just makes me feel like a sausage encasing and these look like I might feel like that but they're really really stretchy so they feel good um, yeah, that's my little maternity haul, guys. My little Ross fail shopping. <laughs> um, I guess I'm just gonna have to buy all that stuff online, but, uh, <sighs> so out of breath. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I need to go to a better Ross and do an actual good haul. I love all of the hauls, TJ Maxx, all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, yeah. Cute. So, in case you're wondering, Ross has some good maternity stuff. Check it out. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.